curry. Danny and I. Right. He's a bad at this. All I've right. made this loads of times, so. We'll I've never made it. So good times. You right. chop it in half like that. Yeah. This is going to be a quick cookery lesson. Slice it through like that, but you don't go round right through to the root. So many times, like so. This is my teaching bit coming into the hand play here. So about three times without slicing your fingers off. We don't wait to have no fingers on, on Sunday. And you cut it that way, like that. Again, a load of times, about six times. Are your eyes running yet? No, I don't really suffer too much from that, actually. Oh, yeah? No. Look at me. Oh. And there you go. That's the easiest way of doing it. Got it? We're stirring up right now, we're just having a little conversation about backgrounds, about what we're doing, about dancing. Uh, apparently Helen's very good at tap, and she's going to give me a little lesson, <laughs> even though it's my worst discipline. Uh, I'm going to teach him how to do uh, time steps next time I see him. I'll bring my tap shoes. I and I get Zoe to get her tap shoes as well, because she danced when she was a little girl. So we'll do a bit of dancing, won't we, Zoe? What's funny? We're going to dance next time. I am not dancing with you, Helen. See? No way. It's not going to happen. <laughs> These Go are my on. boys, they need me. I can't dance. Yeah, so we're cutting to the thighs open here. This is, uh, feels weird. As you can tell, I'm very good at it. I'm not actually good at it at all. Look at this. It's quite tender. Right, so I need to use a little bit of thigh in there. I like a little bit of thigh action. Right. Say. Quartered mushrooms into the curry. Speed is good. Come on, Chloe. Smells gorgeous. We're going to put some bolty. That's B A L C I. In to the chicken, mushrooms, and red onions. It's going to give it that lovely sort of warm flavour. Really, what you need when it's sort of that sort of autumny time. You know what I mean? And sort of getting into those winter evenings, you kind of need that sort of nice warm sort of feeling and stuff. And I think this yeah. is a great way of doing it. You know, have a nice chicken. It's going to fill you up and it's going to keep you warm for the rest of the evening. Okay, so we're just we're just adding in some coconut milk as well, which is quite nice. So it's, uh, it's just uh, lovely. <laughs> Love that. Gives that that mild kind of feeling, you know. It's when with curries, everyone thinks the curries are going to be really hot and spicy. But you don't have to have them hot and spicy. A little bit of coconut uh, milk just kind of helps it to sort of chill out a little bit and uh, not be so. Because uh, I'm not very good with the spice, uh, and so you don't have to be either. The bananas go in here. Fish the banana goes into the curry to finish it off and thicken it and give it a bit of an extra flavour. Thicken it up. But I was just saying to Danny how organised he is. He does all the washing up, cleans up after himself. He says it's because he's a teacher and he has to be like that. My team partner is washing up again. He's always washing up. I'm not washing up and just. Daniel, stop washing up! I know! <laughs> okay, so, going back, thank you very much, Lucy. Um, going back to what we just made in the curry, uh, it's nearly, nearly, nearly done, it's nearly there, so we've uh, just added the banana in there. You might think that's a bit weird, but it just gives that, that kind of nice thing, it thickens it up a little bit. Here's Joe McCarthy. Uh It just thickens it up a little bit and just makes it kind of nice and sort of wholesome. Uh, and this is definitely, just like I said before, going to keep you warm. It's a nice little curry, get some rice on there, and uh, a couple of onion largies, and you're there. But it's nearly ready, so we're just going to leave it to simmer, and we'll be there very, very soon. Hopefully you can taste it. Ew. Wait, 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 let's do, let's do a description of each of them. Oh. Ooh, colourful. Colourful, this is my one. And then... So watery that um, water is even not watery to describe this. Excuse me, this is the lamb rogue and Josh that Joe is going to fix, so it's going to be a really nice consistency. And I know what's happening, guys. Okay, I'm giving my, I, I'm telling how it is, like Simon does. Here's Lloydie. <laughs> Lloyd does eat. There's a myth going What's about that Lloyd doesn't no, eat. No, apparently I don't eat. And then Lloyd does so eat. Do I look like I don't eat? Put on my top, so He does eat. He's always in the kitchen sneaking a little bit of food, so he does eat, don't you, Lloyd? Yeah. Okay. So Whatever she said. Are making that? So we're making that Lloyd. chicken and banana curry. So much drama. Oh my god, I want to taste it all. Yeah. You have to have a little sample, see what you think. Oh. It's actually quite nice actually, I'm not yeah. to say it because I made it. Me, Stacey, and Stan have a meal. Chicken and banana. Chicken 
banana curry. Unload it. No, 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 it sounds. Do you know what? The thing is, about it. If he doesn't like the sound of it, he won't eat it. I know. But look how yummy that looks. Looks great. If you just tried it and you didn't like it, I'd so like these. It's probably gonna. I probably am gonna try it. I'm trying everyone. I'm trying them all because I'm so diplomatic.